Hey folks, welcome to our little corner of the internet where we seek to improve our craft as writers by analyzing and critiquing movies and TV shows, sharing our knowledge of writing concepts, and sharing our honest opinions on fan favorite topics, whether it is deemed popular or not. Just recently we finished our lengthy reaction series for Star Wars Clone Wars, and it was a hell of a ride. When we began we had no idea what we were doing, and thus didn't give much of a proper introduction to the series. So in this video we're going to talk about what our feelings were going into the show, how they changed over time, etc. And because the character of Ahsoka is such a lauded part of the series, we'll touch on our feelings regarding her as well. When did you start watching TCW? Around 2018 or 2019, I believe. I first saw snippets around 2015. I was at a friend's house, their kids were watching it. I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just thought it was a cheap kids show and I wasn't even aware that it was official Star Wars media. So I didn't really intend to watch it for myself, but that all changed in 2019. Why did you start watching TCW? I stumbled across mentions of the series. I don't remember exactly where, but probably somewhere on YouTube. Well, my sister insisted it was good. What was your mentality going into it? I was really excited to learn that there was more to the Star Wars universe than just the six films. I went in with an open, optimistic mind. Did you watch all of it? Yes, at least twice. No, not at first. Alibi directed us through the arcs that she thought would be of the most interest to me, so we watched, you know, the stuff with Ventress and Maul, Obi-Wan. I can't remember how much we watched of Ahsoka. I'm sure she was in there, but she probably only showed me, like, some of the, the later season stuff, because, you know, that's when Ahsoka gets good, right? What did you think of it and of Ahsoka when you were done? I really liked the show. It was what turned me from a moderate Star Wars fan into a hardcore one. As for Ahsoka, my feelings regarding her were pretty meh, but I ended up getting sucked into a lot of the hype surrounding her and became a fan. I can't remember having much of an opinion about Ahsoka because of how little I saw her during that first partial viewing. But otherwise, I thought the show had some cool characters, some fun and intriguing plots, and we were having a blast watching it. Which brings us to the reaction series. Ahsoka has a window where she's actually good. She gets progressively better like mm -hmm. with the show. Honestly, this show should have been a lot longer than it was. So why did you start the reaction series? I had a new YouTube channel and was on the lookout for content. Our family for years has loved to commentate while watching stuff. It's a mix of serious critique and or silliness, depending on our mood and what we're watching and how many times we've seen it. Since we were having a bunch of fun with plenty to say about TCW, I thought, well, a reaction series would make for fun to create, hopefully fun to watch content. What was your mentality going into it? We went into it with a very casual, carefree mentality. We didn't have a goal, we didn't have a structure. Other than watching it in its entirety and trying to be entertaining, there wasn't much to it. But we were expecting to thoroughly enjoy ourselves for 121 episodes later to become 133. Because I think we watched some of the behind the scenes and you could really tell that the people involved Love Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. It's the same team working on it again for season seven. You might have like something really good, especially because they've got, you know, more time to work on it. They've obviously been recognized that it was a good thing and they're trying to, you know, just give it some closure, that kind of thing, right? Like, so, you know. Yeah, like I expect we'll it see. to be good. As already said, we had no idea what we were getting into. Did you watch all of it? Yes, we have now watched all of it. The Ahsoka episodes in particular multiple times. What are your overall thoughts? What a ride. We started out rather weak. We didn't have much to say. There wasn't much of depth or value there. We were just reacting. I think we really started to hit our stride around season three when our perspective began to shift and we were really looking to give more value. We wanted to, to get something out of this, both for ourselves and for others. Like, I feel by the end, like of what I saw of her the first time we watched through, I liked her character. So obviously she gets better. Yeah. I'm actually quite impressed by Ahsoka 
taking the mature stance. I do like this episode. Very well done. Mm -hmm. That it shows the humanity of both sides. Maybe this is like the part of the show where she actually started becoming likable. Huh? Oh, okay. We may like Ahsoka yet. Especially as we neared the end of season three, our expectation that the show was gradually going to improve began to ebb, and we realized that many of the issues we'd noticed at the beginning were not being resolved, especially with regards to Ahsoka's characterization. Fans pressured us to, to look closer at her character, and when we did, we noticed everything around it as well. I'm mad at the writers, just why? Why? Think about it. We're almost done season three, and she's still terrible. I think this is supposed to be that moment where Ahsoka learns her lesson, and it's like, okay, well, sure. Fine, I'll give it to you if in the upcoming scenes, upcoming episodes, she shows that she now has learned that. I'm not gonna give it to you because you have this, oh look, she's learned it moment because you've had a million of those and it's never actually happened. So I'll give it to them until I see evidence that it's BS. And then yes, it'll be She's a hypocrite. I hate this show. Why does it exist? It's an abomination. It's a masterpiece of garbage. <laughs> so why did you continue despite not loving the show? There are a few reasons, actually. The main reason was simply that we wanted to finish what we'd started. But we still have to watch the entire series because yeah. you were all like, we have to watch the entire series. Yep. Secondly, because of all the pushback we were getting, we wanted to make a point of really looking closely at the series, going episode by episode to show that it wasn't this flawless, wonderful thing that people kept claiming it was. Not because we wanted people to hate it, but because we simply wanted them to be aware of its flaws, to understand that it not only started bad, but stayed bad, and to have a higher standard for Star Wars. Thirdly, as mentioned in the beginning, we're writers who learn from analyzing media, so The Clone Wars was an opportunity for us to stretch our writing muscles by exploring the problems and taking a stab at fixing them. If you want to see the results of that, check out our writing analysis series. So far we've been focusing on Ahsoka, but we have tentative plans for tackling other characters too, such as General Grievous, Satine Kreese, and Padme. Do you hate TCW? Yes. And no. We love Star Wars, and we want to see great Star Wars stories. TCW has a lot of potential, and we actually enjoyed a bunch of it. Speaking subjectively, despite the problems, some of my favorite characters are Cad Bane, Obi-Wan, Ventress, and Hondo. Yeah, Obi-Wan's sass is legendary, and I really like how cool Maul is, even though he shouldn't be alive. Satine had great potential. I could have loved her character if she'd been handled better. For her favorite arcs, season four has a couple of good ones. The Umbara arc is dark and gritty. The undercover arc is a lot of fun. After Ventress leaves Dooku, she's got some interesting stuff going on. And of course, Maul's episodes. The fight with Palpatine is epic. Yeah, I've even got a video that lists some of my favorite moments in The Clone Wars. But because we don't put a literal disclaimer on all our videos explaining this, fans react as if we're just haters or we're only presenting a controversial take to get attention. Hopefully this video has made it clear that is not the case. If you want to witness the journey, see both the good and bad that we identified, and why our overall opinion of the series changed so drastically from this to feeling like this. Wow, this is garbage. You actually like this? Feel free to check out the full reaction series. We also have a few concept focused character breakdowns of Ahsoka, since there is just so much to unpack there, which also shows the progression of our opinion on her. So we'll link our playlist for that down in the description. So check out the channel, and if you like what you see, be sure to feed the algorithm with likes and comments, and share our videos around to spread the love. If you're thinking about subscribing, we upload every 10 to 11 days, alternating Mondays and Fridays, with occasional bonus uploads. 
Our main content is our reaction series, we're moving on to Rebels next, but we also release review, commentary, or analysis videos in between, as well as rewrites, case studies, and deep dives on different writing principles. And don't forget we have Super Thanks enabled, as well as a Patreon page, so if you're feeling generous you can find the link under any one of our videos. Any amount you can give would be an immense help, and would enable us to continue creating content that we're passionate about. Thank you so much to those of you who are already patrons. Don't forget to stay loud and proud folks, I'm your alibi and I will see you next time. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I went in with an open, optimistic mind, she said it was good, I believed her. There's lots of kids shows that on the outside look like kids shows, but when you get a recommendation from someone that you trust, then uh, you give it a shot. It's a mix of serious critique and or silliness, depending on what our mood is, what we're watching, how many times we've seen it. I mean, by the time we were watching The Lord of the Rings for the umpteenth time, it was, we were, Frodo, poor Frodo. We, we had, oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> You're, you're gonna have lots of fun editing this one. We've been at this for five years and we still have people in our comments being like, y'all are just acting, you gotta be trolling. So we'll link our playlist for that down below in the script. And this is the last line I have to say in this video, so it's gotta be good. I hate, I hate everything and everything is hated by me. If you need anything else from me, you know where to reach me. I'll be writing a script talking about TCW. That's what we do. Bye.